All right. So, I've got two cameras going. One my phone, which I know how to use. The other one, a GoPro 7. And uh, I've got no clue. So anyways, it's been a few weeks. Um, my neighbor bought a Hellcat Challenger. So we no longer have the fastest car in the neighborhood anymore. Bastard. But um, he talked us into going to a car show before I tore this car open to change the heads and do what I said I was going to do. So we cleaned it up, took it in, and then my wife got to, you know, uh, feel firsthand or experience firsthand the um, vapor locking issue I had. And she was like oh, beside herself. So anyways, we, I got her home. And I like working up here. I don't know why more than I do my garage. So it's up here. It's a little messy. But I prefer it. So, Anyways, I decided that I would pull the motor because there was an oil leak at the bottom that I just I couldn't figure out. And I just, you know what? We're not in a hurry. We'll just take care of that too. So like two hours. I mean, they don't come out hard. So this will allow me to take the head. Well, let's let's get into the thing. Anyways, um, so I pulled all the heads and everything that I was going to use up here, and I spent like not last Saturday, the Saturday before maybe, um, grinding out with my Dremel the valley pan to match the ports on the heads. Otherwise, there's just no good. And really and truly, I should probably do the intake, but. Um, at least I know the intake sometimes is bigger than the gasket, so something's better than nothing. But uh, so then I pulled the motor out and I said, you know, I'm going to take that cam out because it's not what I want. I was going to change cams. And, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a purple old school grind purple shaft. 474 lift. Let's see if we can find them. I caught it. It's literally as it was wiping itself out. I'm gonna find them now, but yeah. This lobe is rounded right here. Yeah. That one, look at that hot spot there. Be better if I show you the lifters. And I had a lifter, to, look at this, look at that. I don't know if you can see that right there. So, anyways. Not any good. Let me get, let me, uh, let me see if I can find the lifters. Okay, that one's okay. That one's okay. Let's go up here. Let's go back. Is this, a, oh, here we go. There's one. See how it's cupped a little bit? There's like four of them in there like that. These are brand new Lunati lifters on an old school grind. So I know the cam was good. I bought these to go to No Name National or put the car together. There's another one. Look at that one cupping. And when I bought them, there's another one. That's three. I'm showing two cameras. And that one's on its way out. When I bought them, something told me to buy the insurance. I thought I was doing a good thing. Oh, there's another one. There's number five. So they're all going. But uh, whew, I bought the insurance figuring that would happen. Thinking, all right, they'll take care of me. But um, I told them I wiped out. I didn't even realize it was five. It's probably more, but uh, once you once you wipe one out, it, you're done. It doesn't really matter after that. I didn't. But uh, anyways, I told them I had wiped out like four lifters. They were gonna send me four lifters, and I said, you know something, I'll pass. I said I got no camshaft to put them on anymore. I'm not. This cam's not usable anymore. And I said I would not put those lifters on any other camshaft. So you know, I'm just not gonna do it. So. As far as lifters go, the insurance sucks. But anyways, we're gonna do something really stupid. And we're going to 
I'm going to check, not today because it's raining and dreary, but I'm going to check and see if I can put my 625 lift roller cam in here and not have any piston to valve clearance issues. And we're just going to mismatch parts. Like my buddy said, sometimes those are the best motors. Maybe not in this case, but um, that's what I'm going to try and do. But I did clean up the lifters and stuff that went on the Howard's cam. That's a 518, 543 lift flat tappet. Um, the lifters actually came to me in this box from just Mopar Joe. They are not Iskies, but they are an old set of um, Mopar Performance, he said. And I took each one apart and cleaned it out because it came out of the motor that spun the bearing. The lifters are all brand new under on the bottoms. I mean, they look great. I just had to clean all of any, if there was any bearing material in them. So I did that. So that's actually ready to go if I decide to go that route. But I think I'm gonna just go stupid. Or I am stupid. I don't really care. I've got that loose 3600 converter down there. So we just, uh, I don't know. The operating range of this cam is like 3,400 to 6,800. Uh, will I be going that high? No, not with this stock bottom end. Do I have a bottom end that could go that high? Kinda, but we won't mess with it right now. Um, yeah, so anyways, we'll just advance the cam a little bit. Try to, you know, I was told a long time ago, when you start moving, you start advancing and retarding the cam and this and that, farther than what the center line would be and I might be wrong but this is what people told me when I was growing up that sometimes you're just moving horsepower around to some degree so we're gonna try and move it so it's down towards the bottom a little bit um, I don't know how true that is but uh, now that's just what I'm gonna do for now and uh, clean it and paint it Ugly Betty's not going to be Ugly Betty anymore. It's just going to be blue. That's all I got for now. Um, right now, I'm cleaning the block. I couldn't find any debris in the oil pan with a magnet. Nothing, nothing whatsoever. So the Wix filter obviously did its job. Um, the cam almost looks usable. The lifters actually are the ones who got hurt more than the cam did, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it again. I don't, yeah, we're not gonna do that. So that's what we're going on. I had a loose motor mount and this will allow me to pull the sending unit out of the tank, take it down to my guy, have him put the quarter inch nipple in there and braise it up really nice. And I'll also take in my headers. I was blowing header gaskets because they're warped and I guess I couldn't get them straightened out good enough on my stuff. So we'll see if he can get it straightened out if he's willing to do that, I'm sure he is. And, uh, let me see, what, did, what have I done? I've ordered a, I ordered a three bolt uh, cam timing set from, from 440 source, their cam button, and a bronze distributor drive. This shit's expensive. Um, had to talk nice to the wife. Uh, what else? Let me see. Oh, and I ordered the, um, these things are great. Hold on. This is the Jegs Valley Pan, the plastic one that's all a gasket, but you can only use it once or twice because it starts getting rid of the little rubber, the little rubber ridge that goes around start deteriorating and sticks to the thing. So my leak was all down through here. So I ordered a new one. I mean, for $45, why not? And you don't have to fuss with two gaskets. That's all. That's awesome. That's, that's actually trash, huh? Anyways, that's what we're doing. Um, what else is going on? That's pretty much it. I'm anticipating getting out here after all this rain. Tomorrow's supposed to be heavy rain. Cause you know we're sunny Florida. But it's like mid 60s right now or low 60s kind of a chilly 60 and yeah that's all I got so let me make some progress and uh, we'll give you some progress reports dude Mopar Bill signing out see ya